What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we got a very, very special vehicle to talk about here on Cars Tech. I am sitting in the all new 2021 Volkswagen ID4. If you're unfamiliar, this is Volkswagen's entry into the all electric market. It is an all electric SUV from Volkswagen. It's super, super cool. If you wanna see a full review all about the design and kind of things that come on specific trim levels and, and nitty gritty details like that, definitely head on over to the Bachmann Volkswagen channel and check out my full review of it. I will have posted that first. So definitely watch both videos. And if you guys are interested in reserving an ID4 and you're in the Kentucky, Indiana, Ohio, uh, Tennessee area, definitely head on over to Bachmann Volkswagen and we'll be able to hook you up. This vehicle is courtesy of them. So if you're interested, I'll have links to their website down in the description. And again, links to my full review. But let's get into it. Let's talk about the tech inside the ID4. So it starts from the second you walk in the door. And I mean that literally. You don't even have to hit the push to start button here for this thing to boot right up and you'll be able to start going. As soon as you sit down, you buckle your seatbelt, it boots right up and you are ready to drive. It is absolutely awesome. And speaking of driving, you go ahead and push your foot on the pedal here and turn this thing into drive or reverse. We'll go uh, reverse here first. You can hear that noise, can't you? Here, wait. You hear that? That space noise? In my full review, I think I called it an ethereal hum. And that is the best way to put it. And it lets people know, hey, I'm in reverse or hey, I'm driving. And it works up to 18 miles per hour or 30 kilometers per hour. But we'll go ahead and turn that off for now. And we'll take a look at some of these displays. Now, in some of my other uh, tech videos on Volkswagens, we looked at some of the, the touch capacitive buttons here. Those are awesome. You've got your adaptive cruise control on the side and all these buttons work with haptic feedback behind the plastic that actually lets you know that you've pushed the button. So really cool system overall. You also have a slider here that you can slide between different views on the 5.3 inch display past the steering wheel here. Now let's talk about that. It's not the most uh, elaborate, but I think that's okay. It's got a dynamic road sign adjustment. So depending on what the speed limit is in your specific area, whether you're coming up to a stop sign, things like that, it will tell you right there on that dynamic road sign display. You've got your speed underneath that, what gear you're in, how many miles remaining on your charge. You can see kind of a, an adaptive line depending on how aggressively or non-aggressively you're driving. We're used to seeing stuff like that. And then you have your adaptive cruise control on the left side as well. Now, speaking of clean and simple design, let's take a look at this 12 inch infotainment display from Volkswagen. Absolutely beautiful, high res, I mean like sharp, sharp display here. It looks fantastic. You've got all of your normal things that you'd expect on a system like this. You've got phone, Bluetooth, Sirius XM radio, built-in navigation, vehicle settings, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which is a lot of manufacturers are doing that now. It's fantastic, especially paired with the wireless charging pad you've got underneath. Ambient interior lighting, which I love the customization there. And then you've got your climate control systems as well that you can control with this screen. But you also have uh, their voice assistant button. And you can trigger this by holding down the little home button here, but you can also just say the little key phrase. In this case, it's hello ID. Uh, tell me a joke. It's gonna be a good one. Oh, my developers didn't teach me that, but I'll give it a go anyway. I couldn't work out how to fasten my seatbelt. Then it clicked. You could trigger the same word, hello, uh, I'm cold, or uh, turn the climate control down, or turn it up, or turn the temperature to X, Y, or Z number. All that can be controlled with your voice. So really cool system. Now it's not the most finessed system, and it's definitely still needs some, uh, maybe some bug fixes, and a little bit more testing and you know updates, but all that can happen thankfully because this has 4G LTE Wi-Fi built in so all of your updates will come over the air and you don't have to take it into a dealership to get those bugs fixed. Now, like over on the steering wheel, you have touch capacitive buttons and sliders up underneath for your dual zone climate control system. So you can turn the heat up and down right here. You can turn your volume up and down on your audio system just by sliding your hand across or your finger across right here. 
just an awesome intuitive system. It, it It's so nice because it takes all these things that we're used to doing on our smartphones or our tablets and things like that, incorporates it into our car. So it's all just one big seamless experience. And there's not a learning curve on every single you know vehicle or every single technology item that you interact with. Now I did mention that interior ambient lighting that runs around the trim here. It's on the door panels as well up underneath your vents here on the side. And it actually changes what your display looks like as well, giving it some different accents and things like that. So a lot of customization options here. Moving on down to the center console, I mentioned earlier you have a Qi enabled wireless charging pad and you have two USB-C ports as well for charging your different compatible devices there. You also have two USB charging ports in the back, which is great for your rear seat passengers. You also have a plethora of safety systems that Volkswagen's calling their IQ Drive Suite. Now this has uh, lane assist, forward collision assist, emergency braking, rear cross traffic, uh, side blind zone alert or, or um, blind spot monitoring is what most people call it. And you also have what they're calling travel assist. And this is basically semi-autonomous driving. So it's going to, if you have your hands on the wheel, keep you in the center of the lane, keep you a set distance away, what you determine you wanna be away from the car in front of you, maintain your speed at that distance, help you uh, with you know small adjustments and things like that. Now, you do have to keep your hands on the wheel. It's very strict about that, but we're getting there, folks. We are on our way to full autonomous driving inside of a Volkswagen, which is just so cool when we finally get there. You know, it's all about rules and regulations, so it's just a matter of time before we get there. But just the fact that you can have such great assistance when driving is just gonna make our driving experience is safer and safer and safer. Now again, this is an electric vehicle, so you do have to charge it. That's how you get power to this thing. You have a couple different options. You have a level one charger that comes by default with the system. Your times may vary charging. It really just depends. You can also add a level two charger to your house. It's one of those wall mounted chargers that's gonna give you a boost. You'll have full charge in about seven and a half hours. If you go to a fast charging station, which Volkswagen includes three years of free Electrify America charging for this thing, which is absolutely awesome. You just have to find one of their little stations, but you can take it there and you can do their DC fast charging. And the numbers on that, you get about five to 80% in about 38 minutes on a public DC fast charger, and then 60 miles in 10 minutes. So really, if you just need a quick boost, go find one, you can charge this thing up pretty quick. But again, five to 80% in about 38 minutes, that's pretty good. Again, if you're interested in a full review of the ID4, every little you know nitty gritty detail and all that kind of stuff, definitely head on over to Bachmann Volkswagen's channel. I did a full review over there. And again, if you're interested in reserving an ID4, head on over to BachmannVolkswagen.com and you can do that there. The last thing I wanna talk about is one of my favorite features and it's actually on the exterior. It is the LED light bar that runs across the front and rear of the vehicle. That thing is so futuristic looking. I love every single element of it from the uh, beautiful thin design of it to the little diamond pattern that's on the headlights and taillights. It just comes together and makes such an incredibly unique looking front and rear of this vehicle. I absolutely love the ID4. I love the look of it. My only complaint is this blue color. Give me a red one, come on. But thanks so much for watching guys. Drop a like on the video if you loved it. Tell me in the comments down below, what do you think about this? I love to respond to every comment. So let's talk about the ID4 down in the comments. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss every single new video the second I hit publish. We'll see you in the next one.